In this video, I will show you an alternating to XAMPP web server or any other third party web server. There is a built in server in Windows called the Internet Information Service. Instead of using this XAMPP or the third party web server, you can use this Windows built in feature. So, let me show you how to set up this Windows web server. For this, in the search bar, just type turn features on or off. So after you open this windows features box, if you scroll down you can see that you have the two options internet information service and internet information service hostable web code. Enable these two options and click on ok. Now the windows web server uh, feature has been turned on. If, if you want to verify everything has been ok or not, you can open a new tab and type localhost. If everything went fine, you will see a web page like this menu is in the local host. So let me show you how to host a website on this internet information service. For this, in the search bar again type internet information or you can shortly type the IIS. So let's open this app. So this is the dashboard of the Windows Builder feature. So if you double click on your profile, so let me, uh, let me double click on here, you will see a sites. After you select the sites, right click on it, you can see an option of add a website. Click on that. Uh, just give a name for our site, in this case, e-learning. So this is the site name now. Next, select the location of where your website locates. In this case, I'm going to select the project folder. I will also show you in file explorer. So this is the folder now. So let me select it in IAS. So, the folder is located. So, this is the project folder. Let me select that. Here in that folder, I have the index file. So, you can see that in that folder, I have this index.html. Make sure you name the main HTML file to index.html. Now, I'll give you a port number for your website. In this case, i081. You can select the HTTPS, but in that case, you, have, you will have to uh, download the SSL certificate and select here. But uh, since we are using for testing only, we can stick to HTTP and select the port 8081. Give you a name for your ports. Now press enter. Now our site has been added successfully. You can see that our site has been started. At, if you want to view all the files, so just expand this and select this. You can see all the files here. So if you want to access the website, just open a new tab and type localhost. As you can see, the website has been uh, loaded successfully. By using this Windows default web server, you can see that the website has been forced. So this is it. So this is how you host your website in Windows web server instead of using the third party like the example or any other tool. So this is for this video and I will mention you in the next one.